I am so sorry that I just haven't had the time or been well enough to vlog. So hopefully I'm back now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hello, how the devil are you? Hope you're all all right. Disney update. Um, so I don't think I've done one. Uh, booked our advanced dining reservations. I've got everything I wanted apart from Cinderella's Royal Table. Um, kept, rang on the day that it opened, nothing. So I just keep ringing and ringing and ringing and <sighs> hoping for a cancellation. I was desperate to get it for Chloe's birthday. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear cars. I've got, I'm at the window. Um, just because I'm absolutely boiling and it's so nice outside. I thought I would make most of the light. Um, yeah, so we wanted it on Chloe's birthday, which is a couple of days before we leave. Got her into the BB Boutique. Wanted Cinderella, Cinderella's Royal Table after, but not going to happen. Um, so, hey-ho. Um, I know it's so popular. Everybody wants everybody wants to go there so never mind you know it's not going to ruin the holiday or anything um so we are 116 days out so it's getting close very exciting god i can't wait to do that double digit dance that's going to be really looking forward to that <laughs> um so yeah, that's basically the Disney update, really. Oh, and obviously Mickey's uh, Not So Scary Halloween party tickets became available. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And then it was so funny. I didn't check for a couple of days. And then I had a tweet from um, the lovely, lovely Eleanor Dreaming, um, who said, they're on sale. I was like, oh God, <laughs> missed nearly. Um, but yeah, so sorted that. Um, I think we're going 15th, 17th, can't remember, um, so that's that, and then we've been trying to narrow down fast passes, now as you can imagine with four children who have been picking their own and they all have different ideas of what they want to do, so yeah, they've been sat in front of YouTube watching ride after ride and making lists of the most important rides they want to go on. The ones they've got to do on the first day, the ones they want to do second day, the ones they want to do at night, the ones, oh. So yeah, um, I'm starting to really envy the people that go to Disney that don't plan, that just turn up, <laughs> don't do fast, don't book the fast passes and don't do advanced dining and just go. <sighs> It's part of the fun, really. I'm I'm complaining, but I'm not really. Um, so yes. So hopefully we'll narrow those down. Obviously we've still got 56 days, 56 days until the fast pass is open. 56, yeah, 60 days they open. We go in 116, 40, 60, 40, 50. 56, yeah, that shouldn't have been that hard to work out. Sorry, maths, not my strong point. So, yes, so there's nothing really left to do on the Disney planning. Um, we keep debating whether we're going to book our seats on the flight or not. We don't know. It's, you know, what is it, 150 odd quid for all of us to book our seats? Do we wait for that 72 hours? So, obviously, we've got the, um, what's it called? Uh, Virgin member whatever thingy flight club is it fight club no thinking of fight club uh, first rule about flight club don't talk about it <laughs> no I don't know what it's called but anyway the Virgin flying thingy where you can book your seat 72 hours in advance or is it 24 if you're not I don't know please correct me if I'm wrong excuse me runny nose now I always get runny nose on vlogging awful um so we're debating, I mean, there's still loads and loads of seats left yet. We were thinking of um, going into, what's it called? The bubble and getting what is termed Dibber's Row. <laughs> uh, 
if you're familiar with the um, website uh, The Dib, which is a Disney planning site, um, which is fantastic. Um, we thought about it, but with my um, disability, getting up the stairs if I'm having a bad day is not going to be good and then not going to let me, really, if I'm getting on in a wheelchair and then getting using my crutches to get round. So, um, so we're thinking about, I think it's row uh, 50, so we can be behind the wing, um, just because I want to get some good shots of taking off and stuff and it doesn't really matter to me about getting off early so we can get through immigration you know um not bothered about the time that's gonna take uh excuse me excuse me um so yeah so that's the disney update um we are going to universal on this holiday as well um so the kids have been watching all their Universal rides. Uh, Jaden, who's gonna be seven by the time we go, is desperate to go on the Hulk. Um, so I think he's gotta grow about four inches before we go, before he's gonna be allowed on. So I think he'll probably want us to get by a rack and time to it and stretch him so he can go on it because he's so desperate to go on that ride. He keeps watching it and watching it and it's like, oh. I don't think you're going to be able to, but uh, we'll see. Um, we were going to do Discovery Cove as well. Well, just me and Chloe, but we've decided not to do that now. Um, we're going to spend the most of the time at Disney. We're going to do two days Universal, hopefully. We might extend it to three, depending on how well we get round it. And then just the whole other time in Disney... Well, saying that, we might do a day at SeaWorld. I don't know yet. We've not bought tickets. If we get them, we'll get them when we're, we're there, I think. So, yeah. So that's all for the Disney update, really. Um, it's just that horrible point of waiting and waiting. Um, but it's so nice seeing um, people that you follow on Twitter. And, um, ah, it's all right. The cat is clawing at me. Ah, Dotty! She's stuck now Dottles oh, come here oh she's gone um, it's so nice seeing people that you follow that have gone on their holidays um, Mark and Jem uh, I remember when they booked it and they did their trip announcement I remember thinking oh gosh that's that's only like a hundred odd days before we go I can't wait to watch see when they go and then they're there and suddenly gets a little bit more exciting um spoonful of sugar they've just got back bless them can't wait to see their vlogs um i can't think of anybody that's out there at the minute there probably is um nope can't think mine's gone blank um yeah so watching everybody's vlogs and then watching people that live in florida as well like uh, the trackers jen and tim uh, watching their vlogs, seeing the new Pandora, mm, can't wait, uh, Prince Charming Dev, uh, he's a cast member, so watching his vlogs is awesome as well, oh Adam Hatton, uh, gorgeous Adam that's gone over um, to become a cast member and he's doing some fantastic vlogs, um, I do like an Adam Hatton, Adam Hatton <laughs> vlog because they're like an hour long and you can just get totally submerged um the gorgeous ellie's gone as well she's a cast member um and i can't wait to go to um the uk pavilion and track her down <laughs> and get a selfie with the gorgeous ellie because uh yes been a fan for a long time watching her vlogs and following her on twitter so might be a little bit stalker status <laughs> Um, but talking of stalkering, um, I'm hoping that uh, Steffi and Dave from Crispy S'mores will be out in Florida at the same time. They've not said when they're going. I have asked on Twitter. <laughs> they're keeping stum. Um, they've just said it's in the fall. So I'm hoping that between the 6th and the 21st, 
of September they might arrive but I'm hoping it's not October or we miss them we miss so many people um, the guys from Two Beauties and a Beast uh, actually land the day we fly we um, we're going from the same airport so we might even pass each other in the airport um there's just so many that are going the week after like um ellen are dreaming they're going the week after we get back so we just seem nobody seems to be going the two weeks while we're there which is really annoying <laughs> um yeah i want to upgrade my stalker level so I can find all these people so I'm just gonna have to find Adam and Ellie really I think um, or maybe Jen and Tim tracker so uh, yeah so that's it for Disney um, no more info none at all I'm gonna do a random day-to-day -day vlog just to tell you about things that have been going on as well I'm gonna upload them both at the same time so this is gonna be the Disney orientated holiday vloggy thing and the other one is going to be ramble so feel free to choose which one you want to watch um anyway take care and i will see you next time bye